I'm Meredith and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am so excited that you found me and if you're returning, I'm so grateful that you've decided to come back and watch more. I love all things luxury. I love luxury shoes, I love luxury handbags, luxury lifestyle and vlogging and if they are things that appeal to you, I hope you'll do me a massive favour and hit that subscribe button down below. It would mean a lot to me. I hope that you have seen my new intro at the beginning. I am so excited by it. My original intro was um, created by a friend back when um, I was just starting my channel. I wasn't sure if anyone was going to watch me. So she threw something together for me and it has served me well and I'm grateful to her. But as my channel has grown, I've known that I've wanted a new intro and a new outro. So make sure you stay tuned to the very end to see my new outro as well. Um, and I am so grateful to Victoria from Accounting for Luxury. I will link her channel down below for you in my description box um, and her husband. So she tagged me in something ages ago. I watched her video and she had a fantastic intro. So I made contact with her via Instagram and she was so incredibly kind and helpful to me. Um, I asked her if she'd share her contacts for who created hers. Her husband had organized it for her and he had to go back through his emails, um, but they got me the details and I'm so incredibly grateful to the two of them for um, sharing their contact who then created my fantastic intro and my new outro. I'll also put the um, links for the people that I've used in the description box down below in case anyone else is looking for a new intro and outro or um, is thinking about starting their own channel. Um, so let's kick off 2023 because it's very exciting. We made it. We got through 2022. We were on to 2023. Um, and I thought I'd kick off 2023 by giving you my wish list. Disclaimer, I might not buy all of this this year. Um, there is a fair bit on my wish list and I will insert pictures here um, of what I have so that you can see exactly what I'm looking for. And a lot of what I'm looking for is going to come from the resale market for the simple fact that I don't know what's being released in the upcoming collections. I am not including pictures of things that I have pre-ordered. There is no point. I know they're coming. I have um, several pre-orders with Louis Vuitton. I have several pre-orders with Fendi. Um, so I will not include any of those because it seems counterproductive if I've already bought and paid for it. I'm just waiting for it to arrive. So you can wait for the unboxings for those. Um, and I'm not including anything that is currently sitting on the floor around me that is waiting to be unboxed. So if you do like an unboxing, please make sure you hit that subscribe button because there are lots coming. Um, so let's kick off. I'm going to do this by brand. Um, so I'll break it down into brands and then the bags I'm specifically looking for. So I've got um, a notepad here on my phone there. So, and I'll throw up photos here. So the first thing that I am looking for maybe in 2023 is a Chanel mini in the Tiffany blue color. So I'll put a photo here for you. Um, I really love this color. Uh, I think this is 2019. I always hate guessing on this because people are quick to tell me that I'm wrong in the description in my comments and that's fine. Um, by all means, let me know when I am wrong. I am happy to be told that I am wrong and in this case, I think I'm right. I think it's a 2019 um, and it's in this Tiffany blue color. So I'm after that in a mini size. Um, I'm also after this maxi Chanel 19 in a black and white hounds tooth um, tweed. So I really love this. Um, I believe it was 2022, early 2022 maybe. Um, but I really want it in the maxi size and I have yet to see that anywhere. So I'm on the hunt for that as well. I would also love to get a reissue in the graffiti style that Amelia from Amelia Rose's Closet has. It would make my life so much easier if Amelia would just buy two of everything that she buys because most of what she buys I love. Um, and this one has been one that she has had since I started watching her channel. It's a beautiful bag. I really love it. Um, and I'm on the hunt for that in the resale market as well. And then more recently she unboxed this beautiful denim um, Chanel Extra Large. It's a seasonal bag um, and she got hers in this pink color um, and I want that one. Um, but because it's denim and I am who I am, I'm hunting it in all four colors that it comes in. So it comes in a pink, it comes in a purple, it comes in a green and it comes in a black. 
<laughs> and I will hunt all of those. So like I said, I might not get them all this year, but they are certainly on my wish list going forward of pieces that I will hunt in the resale market. And I will use Rod from the Lux Theory. Um, I'll link him down below to help me source some of these throughout the year when I'm ready to fork out the large amount of monies that it will cost to get anything um, Chanel. <laughs> Um, but I will be on the hunt for these. So they're all my Chanel pieces. From Hermes, um, I don't buy Hermes resale. It's just too expensive. Um, so I sit and I wait. I shop at Hermes anyway. I've got a few Chanel, uh, a few, um, Hermes unboxings. Sorry, I have many unboxings. Um, I have a few Hermes unboxings sitting over there. Um, and, uh, I continue to shop at Hermes. I have a great relationship with my sales associate. Um, I am currently um, on my next quota bag. I'm hoping will be a Birkin 25 in Ostrich. That's the next thing on my wish list. I have an extensive wish list, but that's at the top. So I might see that come through in 2023 if I'm lucky. And I've asked for that to be in our color. So like a vibrant color and my sales associate knows what colors I will and won't do. I just want a vibrant color because ostrich shows up best in a vibrant color. Um, it's where the dots show up the best. So that's top of my wish list. Um, in a um, perfect world, I would also be hunting for a Birkin 30 in Berenia Forberg. Um, it's a heritage leather and I love a heritage leather. I've got my mini Kelly in the box calf, which is a heritage leather. So I would love a Birkin 30. And this is a Birkin 30 over here. Um, I would love a Birkin 30 in the Berenia Forberg. So that is most certainly on my wish list as well. But we all know that quota bags are hard to come by. So the chances of me getting two in a year are like slim to none. Um, and if all the planets aligned and my life was perfect, then I would get a um, Kelly 25 in the picnic. So the little basket style, but that sits on my wish list as a maybe one day in the very distant future if Hermes, if all of the Hermes gods got together and decided to bestow upon me this amazing um, gift, I would get a picnic Kelly. But yeah, I don't think that's coming anytime soon, but it does sit on my wish list. Um, so they're my three pieces from Hermes that I am chasing um, this year, next year, whenever. <laughs> it's Hermes. Um, Pieces from um, Fendi that I am chasing. So I would love the Tiffany Nano baguette in the leather. Now, Australia did not get any nanos allocated to them. Um, the Asia Pacific region got very few and they have already been ordered and prepaid for. So for me to get one, it will take somebody knocking one back in Asia and Australia being able to get it in or it will take um, Fendi sending more out or deciding that they will allocate some to Australia. So I'm not highly hopeful on that, but I would love the Tiffany Nano Baguette and I'll insert a picture for you. I also really want to do a made to order from Fendi again this year. I wanna do a Fendi first. So um, this will be the first time, they only just started doing the Fendi firsts in the made to orders. Up until now, it's been peekaboos and um, baguettes and trunks and a few other styles, but Fendi firsts have not been part of the made to order process. When I did it last year, it was not, and then they released it. So I believe other places in the world have already had that option, but Australia has not had made to orders yet yet with the Fendi first and I am hopeful that I will get to do a made to order Fendi first because we all know I love the Fendi first. It is my favorite Fendi bag so it makes sense that I would do a made to order in that. So fingers crossed I get the opportunity to do a made to order for the Fendi first. There are two Fendi reissues from the Baguette uh, 25th anniversary that are on my radar that maybe I will get, maybe I won't. So there is the platinum one that I really loved and that's on my wish list as a maybe. Um, we'll see. Um, and I'll insert a picture for you. Um, and I also really love Tails Mirror Baguette, but it's Dale's Mirror ba Baguette. And while she would um, be fine with me having one. She's lovely. She would have no issues with me getting one and copying her. Um, 
I don't know if I can do it. I love the bag. It's beautiful. I think it's stunning. It wasn't even on my radar until I saw hers and how beautiful it is. Um, but I do have concerns that if I bought it, it really would feel like Dale's bag. So I don't know if I'll buy that one. It's one that I keep looking at and going, it's just so pretty, but at the end of the day, it's Dale's bag. Um, so I, I'm not sure if I'll actually end up getting that one. I'm more likely to buy the platinum one because it's not associated with anyone. And we all know that Dale has beautiful taste and she is the Fendi queen. Um, and yeah, I just, it's just a bit, I don't know. It's one of those things. I just love it, but it's really Dale's bag. So yeah, it's there. From Dior. I don't know. I'm looking at a mini saddlebag. I do like the saddlebags. I keep going back to them because they have such um, memories from the 90s and the 2000s for me. Um, but I look at the saddlebags and I'm like, do I really want a saddlebag? And then I try it on. I'm like, no. But I think the mini might work for me. Um, so I've really got to get into Dior and have a look um, and decide if I want um, the mini size. And I think if the mini size doesn't work for me, then as much as I love the look of the saddlebag and the history of the saddlebag, I'm probably not going to buy a saddlebag. Um, I just, I keep circling around it and I don't want to buy one just to have one. I want it to actually be functional for me. So I'll have a look at the mini. If the mini suits me, then I'll buy that. But if it doesn't suit me, then I think I'm done with the saddlebag and I just need to move on. Um, I would look at more caro bags. It depends on what comes in, in terms of colors going forward. And of course the wicker bags. So if they release more wicker bags in more colors and, um, Dior, if you're interested, I'd really like one in a green, just saying. Um, so if they bring out more colors in the wicker bag, then I will most certainly be interested in those. Um, or a lemon yellow. I'll also take like a nice pastel yellow. I mean, if I'm, if I'm putting together a wish list and you're listening, then these are the colors that I would really love. <laughs> um, but yeah, if they do more wicker bags, I'm certainly there for that. And I'll be keeping an eye on the caro bags because I love them. Um, and seeing what comes in the upcoming seasons and colors. So there's not really a lot from Dior on my wish list as such, but, um, those bags are certainly ones that I'm keeping an eye on. And then finally we have Louis Vuitton. What am I hunting from Louis Vuitton? Not much. <laughs> so I have a very good relationship with Louis Vuitton. Um, I have fantastic sales associates, all the upcoming collections I have already pre-ordered for, um, and they will come in and I will unbox them for you guys. Um, but because I have such a good relationship with Louis Vuitton, um, there's nothing coming that I am hunting as such because I've already ordered it all. The only things from Louis Vuitton that I'm hunting are pre-loved pieces. So um, if you've watched my collectionist videos um, and there's a whole playlist around them um, on my channel. So I'll link that down below for you. But if you've watched those videos, you know that um, I have quite an extensive Louis Vuitton collection and I have um, a few of the Murakami pieces. So a few 20 give or take. Um, so I am always hunting for beautiful, um, I guess they're considered vintage now because they're 20 years old pieces. Um, so I am most certainly on the hunt for the rest of the denim pieces that I need to collect. Um, I'm at the point now where I have most of the green and pink ones. So they did four bags um, from that denim collection, this denim collection. There were four different styles of bags that came in this pink and a green. I have all the pink pieces now and I have two of the green. So I need to get the final two green pieces and then I have all the colored denim and then I'm working my way through the denim, the blue denim pieces as well. And I have that collection is getting up there now. Um, so I have all the pages. I know everything that they made from that and I basically tick it off like a checklist. I am also doing the same thing with the Murakami pieces. So I have all the pieces and I am slowly working my way through these. So that will continue to be a labor of love into 2023. 2024, 2025. It's, it's an ongoing process. So I hope to add more of those pieces this year as well. Um, but yeah, there's not a lot on my wish list from Louis Vuitton because I order it as it comes out. Um, and I don't know what's coming beyond what I'm able to order. So we'll see, we'll see what the house does this year, but there's always lots of new, interesting things coming. Um, and I'm happy to be there for it. Um, 
So that's pretty much what I'm after in 2023. Um, a lot of it is um, older. I appreciate that. And I'm going to have to find it on the resale market. There's always beautiful things coming into the houses. There's always things for me to be looking at and buying. So um, there's always going to be unboxings. Um, I'm also looking at some new jewelry this year. I, I really want um, a tennis bracelet and a few other pieces handmade from my jeweler. So I do love um, jewelry from some of the bigger houses. Like this is Louis Vuitton. Um, I've got some Cartier pieces. Um, I've got Tiffany and Co. Um, so I love jewelry from those houses, but for me, it's much more special if I have my jeweler who is, um, an award-winning jeweler here in Australia. He is, um, just him in his little store. Um, and I'll go down and see him and, tell him exactly what I'm after and exactly the quality of whatever I want is. Like if it's diamonds, I want this quality. I want them in this cut and he'll hand make me pieces. And that's more special to me than buying, um, from a bigger chain. Um, and in most cases you'll also find it's cheaper because it's not got that, um, house attached to it, the brand attached to it. So, Hey, if I can get it cheaper, I'll take it. Um, but for me, it's the personalization. I can choose exactly what I want and it's been handmade for me. So I will be looking at adding some jewelry pieces this year as well. Um, I hope you will stick around and watch the fabulous outro that was created for me. I am in love with my new intro and outro. 2023 is going to be a big year for me. This um, whole setup behind me is going and there's going to be some built-in cabinetry replaced um, and some better lighting. So um, that will come when my builder finally comes back to me. The building industry in Australia is under a lot of pressure at the moment and it can be hard to get workers. So um, hopefully sometime in the first part of this year you'll see this all change behind me but in the meantime hope you like the new intro and outro if you have liked today's video please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below it really helps content creators out when you hit the subscribe button um, and it also means that all your content is in one easy to find location on the youtube app um, I also hope you'll hit that little bell notification so you know when I've uploaded new videos. There are a lot of unboxings coming, so you want to be around for that. Um, I hope you'll also come follow me over on Instagram. I put lots up in real time over there, lots around my day-to-day -day life, my collection, and anything that sales associates send me. So please come follow me over on Instagram. I hope wherever you are in the world today, you are having a fabulous day, whether you are hungover or not. And I wish you all a very happy new year. Bye guys.